25 miles ahead on the route road construction. It may not be the pink Cadillac that Bruce Springsteen sang about, but the 2010 SRX does have a hint of tail fins. When I first looked at the SRX, it kind of reminded me of the Escalade's buff younger brother. Speaking of young and buff, Cadillac is cool again to the kids who hook up and break up via text message. I travel all the time. When I rent a car, they usually upgrade me. And, and whenever they say they're upgrading me to a Cadillac, I'm like, oh, here we go. You know, it's my grandfather's car. I'm going to have dinner at 4 p.m. Lately, they've been upgrading, they upgraded me to this one. And it was, I, I was driving and I remember thinking, this is a really cool car. They've turned around a little bit. So that was kind of exciting. It's, it's, Peter uh, Shankman is an expert on social media. We'll come back to him in a little while. But first, let's go back to the beginning way back to when cars were called horseless carriages. The company that became Cadillac was actually started by Henry Ford. It went bust. Henry Ford shareholders brought in Henry Leland to liquidate assets. Instead, Leland turned around Ford's failed company and called it Cadillac. The name Cadillac honors the 17th century French explorer Antoine Lumet de Monsieur de Cadillac. He founded Detroit in 1701. The familiar Cadillac crest and shield may or may not have been inspired by the Cadillac family coat of arms. The Cadillac logo has changed over the years to reflect both changes in marketing and technology. Henry Ford went on to start, well, Ford. The first Cadillac was introduced at the New York Auto Show in 1903 and cost $850. Cadillac became a leader in technology when it started using precision equipment to manufacture identical parts. Cadillac won an award after three Cadillacs were disassembled, the parts were tossed like a salad, the cars were then put back together and driven away. Over the years, Cadillac has also become known for luxury, prestige, and power. In the post-war era, which to the current Cadillac fans does not mean the first Gulf War, but rather the one with the Germans, the Japanese, and the black and white pictures, Cadillac also became a leader in styling. From chrome bumpers, which we'll talk about in another review, to really cool tail fins. The tail fins didn't really make a difference in the way the car drove, but they were a significant statement in the infancy of the jet age and the dawn of the space race. Sputnik was a tangential design influence, and now satellites play a major role in the new Cadillac. OnStar Center, this is Melissa, your navigation advisor. Where can OnStar take you today? OnStar and the navigation system would never have been possible without satellites. Hi, I need to go to a store called Fitness Lifestyles in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Okay, let's take a look for you here in just a moment. Okay, do you have fitness life scale 614 Hookman Avenue in Asbury Park? Did you want turn by turn or did you want a destination download? If you have the navigation system and you press your OnStar button, the operator can look things up for you. It's sort of like a 21st century yellow pages. Is there anything else I could do for you today? That's it for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Using OnStar Drive Safe. Chloe then sends it to your screen. So, like Jack Bauer, you're off and running. You never have to put in an address yourself, but of course, you can. And she just sent everything to my screen, and we're on our way. So the following happens between 5.03 p.m. and 6.03 p.m. on the New Jersey Turnpike. The Bluetooth system on the Cadillac SRX does not transfer the phone book from your BlackBerry. But then again, I don't know about you, but there are a lot of people in the phone book of my BlackBerry that I don't want to call from the car. Speaking of calls, you may be making some to your dry cleaner or worse. You get in your car, you've got your bottle of water or a hot coffee, you put it in the cup holder, you put your phone right there, you take off for work. If somebody leans on this armrest, it goes forward. Look what happens. If this had been open or if this had been hot coffee, it would have been all over the center console, all over me, all over my phone. And we talk to General Motors, there's no way to lock so it's a bit of a danger. Real World Test Drive spoke with General Motors about the problem with the sliding center armrest and an engineer said they're already aware of the issue and they're working on it. The iPod interface for the Cadillac is great. 
The navigation screen shows you which song is playing and who's singing it. If you like podcasts, it also shows you the information on that too. Hold down the remote start. Cadillac has an optional remote start. Owing to the advantages of believing in Darwinism, I'm sure all of you know never to use this feature in a closed garage. But just in case, Cadillac has a safety feature that turns off the car after about 15 minutes of idling if you don't get in and drive away. We tested it outside just to make sure. I call it the anti-Sylvia Plath function. It's also a good idea to keep the key out of the reach of kids who we all know love to push buttons. Something that's really cool about this new Cadillac SRX is it has a smart speedo, and I'm not talking about a bathing suit here. It's a speedometer that on the outside tells you how fast you're going, and then on the inside tells you how fast you should be going. In other words, it tells you what the speed limit is on the road you're traveling on. It doesn't work on every road, but it works on a lot of the highways. The V6 delivers 265 horsepower, 18 miles per gallon in the city, and 25 on the highway. It will also get you from 0 to 60 in 8.1 seconds. But back to our social media expert, Peter Shankman. We asked him about distracted driving, particularly people who text while cruising down the interstate. He, too, thought of the father of evolution. I just saw someone who wrote uh, on a Facebook post a couple of months ago, just broke 20,000 miles on my car and I noticed it was sent from his mobile phone. And I said, uh, I said, if you're typing this while you're driving, I doubt you'll make it to 21,000. And uh, you know, a bunch of his friends were like, yeah, that's totally true, dude, what the hell, why are you doing it while you're driving? You know, you, 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 I think it's, we'll see a rise of stupidity and, and then it'll level out based on Darwin's theory. Um, you know, the people constantly texting on the, you know, I just hope they don't take anyone else out while they're doing it. By the way, Peter also has an interesting question for both of us. What do you think the largest social network in the world is? Facebook? No, a service called Hi5. It's, it's out of India, it deals with India and China, and when you consider how many people are in India and China, and they're doing so much more with their cell phones, they're paying for their, their sodas on their cell phones. Uh, they're buying food and groceries and their, their subway tickets with their cell phones. Everything is interconnected. We, are, we, are, we have so far to go. We are, we are not even close to, to what's possible. If the return of Cadillac Cool makes you want to get behind the wheel for your own real-world test drive, you'll be happy to know that Cadillac has dropped the price, weight, and size of the completely new SRX. It starts at about $34,000. The price as tested was about fifty-one dollars I'm Grant Winter, reporting.